Good morning. We're starting the day off with a little bit of exercise. Reflecting yesterday's service, phenomenal service. Sanctuary is full. Oh, we, have, we have two services at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, it's packed. We only had two Sunday services at 9 a.m., so I want to encourage everyone who's looking for a church to be part of. Come on out and be with us at 9 o'clock in the morning. 11 o'clock, not very many empty seats on the main floor. It is, it is relatively full, close to about 90% full, so I encourage you to keep coming. And these times of uh, crisis are times that in many cases you see people, you typically would see people coming to church, running to church. Obviously with the issue that we've had of concern that many, many members are concerned about coming out to church because of concern of catching a cold or, or getting sick, you know, it does keep some home. Our team has done an excellent, excellent job. Uh, safety precautions in place proper social distancing with the seats, hand sanitizers at the door, those uh, elderly coming to an early morning service or coming in with a mask as to stop the spread. No one mingles, communicates with each other on a one-to-one -one basis, at least not very many. When they come in, they sit close to the front. As they go out, the back row exits. Uh, everyone's operating in an orderly fashion, it's phenomenal see how everybody's come together, even more so. Having eye contact, being able to bring in the gospel, minister to them. Uh, many faithful members that have children have stayed home, um, watching online. Our streaming platform allows us to recognize who, who watches, so we can keep track of how we can communicate and reach out to many more people. So I wanna thank everybody for being part of that, being part of Sunday morning service at Center Church. Those of you who are looking for a church, two ways you can participate. Number one, centerchurchfar.com, our website, main port of communication, place where we're able to minister to you on a regular basis through multiple platforms, church in an email. Uh, all you have to do is register for free, place for you to receive donations and children's programming, praise and worship and so forth, all on the website. And number two, face-to-face, -face, which face-to-face -face in my preference is most important. The Bible says, do not forsake the gathering of the saints. There's a power that takes place when we spend time together, we walk together, we work together. And what happens is it allows us to communicate with each other, see each other face-to-face, one-on-one, a much more safer environment than any shopping center, grocery store, a uh, place of business, something that would call essential, where we are a much safer location. This seems to be the new norm, at least for the time being. I love that the children stay inside the sanctuary and I communicate with them and we'll be reaching out to them even more so we offer an online service for our children's ministry, which is nice. Laura Lee, who handles our our children's program, she's done a phenomenal job putting together some videos. I encourage you to have your children sit in front of the TV set, computer, or the cell phone, and watch these videos. They're very good, entertaining, educational. We're working towards new services, weekday revivals, outreaches in the summertime. So be on the lookout for some rather unique gatherings. I'll put these video blogs out and be able to communicate with you. Any questions that you may have, any items that you may need prayer for, whatever you're believing God for, have some confidence to share it. Uh, share it with me. Allow me to pray for you through social media. My cell number is 817-791-9420. It's 817-791-9420. Guys, I'm going to keep exercising. I love you all. I encourage you throughout the day. God bless you guys. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my friends, my family, church family. I ask you to be with them, bless them. Cover them with your precious blood. Protect them with your angels. No harm come their way. No sickness come upon their life. Father, I thank you for that hedge of protection that you put around and about them. 
to prosper them, protect their jobs, their employment, their income, give them peace, remove their fear of any concern. In Jesus' name we declare it. I thank you for their lives. And I ask you to continue to be with them. I love you guys greatly. God bless.